Oh, Alessandrini. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Team of the Season Alessandrini card to review today. So, uh, we are taking a look at a card that is 5'8", high medium work rates, left footed, 4 star skills with a 4 star weak foot. Uh, in my opinion, right off the bat, looks like someone that's going to be absolutely incredible to use in the left mid, right mid position, but we do have to test out some of the base stuff in game in regards to trying out the striker position and cam position to see how he moves across the pitch quickly. So, uh, player traits in game. The card has the outside foot shot trait, but no finesse shot trait. I don't think have not having a finesse shot trait is going to matter too much for this card because if we take a look at his base card stats in game, the marksman chemistry style is going to help it out a lot, right? So, base card stats at 98 acceleration, 96 sprint speed is obviously incredible as it is. For shooting, he's at 91. For attacking positioning but he does have the high medium work rate at 87 finishing we do want to increase uh the finishing on the card as much as possible with the marksman because we're also working with really good shot power a card who is five foot eight with an average body type but an average body type with some pretty high dribbling stats on the marksman chemistry style so there's a couple of variables with this card that could potentially make him an absolute monster and not only is he working with those dribbling stats and those shooting stats but he also has the 91 composure to work with both of them right uh base card stats for passing also very good for alessandrini using both feet because he has a four star weak foot as well with good composure uh defensive stats obviously non-existent on the card he's got 88 for stamina which is i guess for nowadays it's not low, but it's kind of low. Like, nowadays, cards have, like, 92 and stuff, which is, like, a pretty decent cutoff. But 88 is obviously still usable in this game. Shouldn't be a huge issue there. Uh, he's got the 95 aggression to work with whatever attacking AI he has at the pace that he does, which is obviously uh, pretty cool. Marksman will also be boosting his jumping and strength to give him some physical in the strength jumping stats 86 for strength and then 88 for jumping. So uh, the card definitely looks very interesting. Like I said... I do mostly see him being used in the right mid, left mid positions, uh, but obviously we will see how he performs in game. So I had to switch a couple things here in my boy's team to get some chemistry going for us. But we're going to go ahead and use Snips442. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the videos that we've been making recently, this is the one that I usually go with. Uh, we're going to go ahead and switch some players here and there. So we're going to have... Uh, we have Ronaldo up top, Alessandrini off to the right side, which is perfect. Uh, Patrick Vieira over here. And then Mbappe, we will switch with Neymar. Yeah. Let me see the instructions. So I think his instructions are the exact same. Yeah, so he has stay back while attacking for the fullback. Stay back while attacking cut pass lane for the CDMs. Uh, he has come back in the fence for the left mid and right mid this time, and then the strikers are going to be on stay central. Stay central is fine, by the way, because they'll still make those angled runs to the outside. They just go back into the middle immediately, which is really, really good. If you guys saw the Sancho review, that's what he was doing. Sancho has really good attacking AI, and I'm hoping that Alessandrini has the same. So, let's get into a game. Hopefully, the matchmaking is not crazy bad in regards to taking long, because it is a Monday. It's not the weekends now, so... Okay, we finally found a game, and, uh... First owner, everybody, you know what? It's nice. He's going to make a sub for the right back position, which I'm surprised he doesn't have a what if Mbabu or something like that. What, uh, Mbabu is pretty cheap, to be fair. Oh, that fake shot was already super fast, man. Whew. Oh, man. Almost got that finesse shot angle with him right away, eh? That would have been sick. Nice. He actually does do the movements. Good. He makes those angled runs immediately. That's awesome. Ooh, that was fast, too. Let's go. Snip, you don't have any game audio? Like, Snip's just like vibing with music in the background, for sure. <laughs> oh, quick adjustments, good. I like that. Yeah, you see that? Good, man. I love it, I love it, I love it. Good, good, good.
quick dribbles as well. He he committed a challenge right there. If my player actually fell, would have uh, fell to the floor. Would have been a penalty. Oh, good adjustment. Yep. Oh, I don't get the finesse shot angle there. But guys, you see, you see this. He has he has the best version of attacking AI. That's good, man. That's really good. Oh, lovely pass to Ronaldo there. Oh, that just uh, just didn't register anything. That sucks. <laughs> he just stood there. He's like, what? I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, on his weak foot there too. Yeah, I wanted to try it out on his weak foot. Guys, he's he's definitely moving so far, man. He's definitely moving. Okay, what do we have next year? Um, ooh, a foot champs Neymar. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, he doesn't have a single nuisance in that team. Everybody's pretty good. Coutinho maybe for height for the full meta concept, but like, who cares? He's rapid. Guys, his adjustments are really fast. Like, really, really fast. He has the best version of attacking AI. You know, like the Mbappes, the Sanchos, all those guys. Like, he has it for sure. Not a bad finesse shot, considering he was under pressure right there. Gotta try it out, you know? Love it. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, that's why I have the stay central instruction on these guys, because you can still see that they move to the sides if they force that really good attacking AI that they have, you know? Oh, let's go. Beautiful play right there. Beautiful, beautiful play. This card, uh, he's nice, man. He's nice. Everyone's just quitting. I mean, I, Snip, your team is, like, it's perfection everywhere. I'm using players like Renato Snip, which is, like, like you obviously have, like, Bruno Fernandes' team of the year, so it's, like, full meta. Like, Renato's, like, just below that, but, whoo, what a team, man. I, I would leave, too, if I saw this. Like, sheesh. These guys just move everywhere. They're just, like, the attacking AI is just brilliant, especially when you have full meta cards. This is where I reviewed the, um... The team of the season, Sancho card, and the card was just... It was just constant movements, that was insane. Incredible interception, close control dribbling, definitely noticeable on the card right now. Oh, if the passing it, the through balls, guys, in this game, on the edge of the 18 yard box, inside the 18 yard box, anything around the 18 yard box is so terrible, man. These are the types of players you need when you are facing people in Division 1 that are just playing the full meta of the game. Just constant movement, like you need that. It's a requirement when you play in this division. Oh, there's no shot. There's no shot. No freaking way, man. A oh, great shot by Alessandrini, by the ways. Oi, it's a foul. Come on. Oh, and I don't score that one. No way, Alessandrini. Come on, man. This game is actually horrible. Like it's 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 horrible. It's horrible. Oh, Alessandrini. Alessandrini just absolutely destroyed right there. Oh my goodness. 
And he gets the interception. Let's go for the tackle off. You might as well just not even make through balls a thing, EA, honestly. <laughs> Oh, and I almost scored that too. I try to go for like the extra dribbles because the guy doesn't really know where I'm gonna overcommit to certain spaces. The left stick dribbling is awful though. Like if it was good, I might be able to pass him there. I have to do like a couple of skill move cancels and stuff. I wanted to try like a long distance finesse shot just to see what would happen. There we go. We'll score that opportunity there. We will take it, we will take it. Okay guys, so with Alessandrini, like I said, I do mostly see this card being used in the uh, left mid, right mid position. I'm actually gonna use him in the left mid position for now and just play out this game. Um, he definitely has the best version of attacking AI, which is uh, definitely phenomenal to work with for sure. Love is dribbling on the ball because it's very close control oriented. So it's a cool card, man. His movement is phenomenal, man. He follows the instructions that Snip has his, uh, has on his left mids and right mids really well, too. The cut and side thing. Like, if I wanted to do that with him in the uh, other direction, I would actually go for some finesse shots with him. His track back there on the defense was actually really solid, considering he doesn't have any defensive stats. See? Love him in that left mid position. Love him, love him, love him. Good stuff there, man. We'll, we'll take that uh, We'll take that goal. This card's good, man. I like him a lot, guys. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the Alessandrini card, guys. It's a really good card. Really, really good. The opportunities that I miss with him, guys, they're not like high percentage strikes. It's just that like when you're playing against like uh, the people that really park the bus, you kind of have to wait for those moments to kind of like open up for yourself, especially when the dribbling feels rough during the certain parts of the day. But this card is 100% a phenomenal card to use, okay? His attacking AI is the best version of attacking AI. It's always constant movement, and you need this against these guys that play this way, right? 98 acceleration, 96 sprint speed is perfect to work with when, when it comes to base card stats. His average body type does not affect the card that much at all uh, because his dribbling in game is very close control oriented. Like I can take those last second touches with him and there's absolutely zero problem with it. And it was the same situation with Sancho's card. The reason being for this is because of how high his dribbling is in the agility and balance department when it comes to just being able to move really quickly with agility and balance. Agility and balance is an absolutely massive stat in this game. And with the marksman chemistry style boosting the reactions, ball control, and dribbling for that really good close control dribbling, uh, it's definitely very, very nice to work with. Uh, at times, I did notice his base finishing sometimes, but it's really not that big of a nuisance anyways. Again, the shots that I took were not like super high percentage strikes from the ones that he missed for the most part, right? Um... It's a phenomenal card, man. I think he definitely performs really well. Uh, honestly, for a French player that plays in the right mid position, there are so many variables that you can work with in regards to fitting him in your team in a 4-5-1, 4-3-3 um, base and just get some French players around because French is really good uh, this year. So there's so many different links you can work with. Um, if you guys end up packing him from the SBC or you guys can end up buying him in the future, definitely get this card. He's definitely very good to use. He's not like full meta capability or capacity like a Jaden Sancho team of the season card or an Mbappe card or anything like that. But he's like just below it, right? He's missing the five-star skill moves and both of those traits. If he had both of those traits, that's when he would hit that peak. But it's still a phenomenal card. You guys will definitely have a ton of fun using it once you get your hands on it. So... Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.